Hey there everybody, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, I'm really excited to show us the Zulu Nylon Gear Survival Pouch. That's what I got here for us today. It's uh, just a little kind of pocket organizer, just a little bit bigger than a pocket uh, size, but uh, basically designed to hold all sorts of different things from EDC kits to survival kits to even possible medical kits or other items that you might want to put in a little nylon pouch. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the Zulu Nylon Gear Survival Pouch has to offer us today. All right, well, let's go ahead and get on into this little survival kit from Zulu Nylon Gear. The great thing about this is that it is all put together and sewn and made basically in Chicago, Illinois. So it's US made, so that's always awesome to purchase US made products. You can pick these up for around $25 on Blade HQ. I'll have a link in the description below, and they sell them in OD green and black. Uh, to my knowledge at this point in time. So some basic specs for you guys as we get into this and I'll start opening it up and you can just kind of see some of the items you can fit in here. This isn't a review on the products inside. This is just a quick review for you guys on this Zulu survival kit pouch. What you have is from side to side a length of four and a half inches. It's eight and a half inches long. And then before you stuff it out, you can see it's much thicker than that now. I'd say it's about four inches thick now. But starting out, it's an inch and a half thick before you stuff it full of stuff. So with that being said, let's go ahead and we'll look here at the front first. What you have is this real nice plastic clip here with some real nice bungees that you can put all sorts of things through. Uh, I have a little uh, flashlight as well as an emergency whistle and you can attach those to this front toggle and that's just a normal little flap for this dump pouch and this dump pouch is really nice and convenient because it can fit a lot of products. What I have in here, just kind of give you some idea, is not only a rescue blanket, I also have an emergency poncho and I have a right in the rain uh, seven by five inch pad, if I remember correctly, if that or five by three inch pad. So uh, those three items fit in there. You can get all sorts of other stuff. You can put a medical kit in there. Oh, I got one other item. Look at that. I don't even know what I got in here. <laughs> and then I have uh, a sharpening kit as well, an easy lap diamond coated stone. So you can get a lot, obviously, you just saw in there. And again, we got these little bungees. You can feed all sorts of different little items through. Then on the side here is the spine. This is a stiff spine that we'll look at on the inside here in a moment as well with these two nice little toggle loops. I know that in the past you've been able to buy a shoulder strap as well. I don't know if those are still available or not. You can kind of search for that. Uh, or you could just make a sh simple shoulder strap with some paracord if you wanted to throw this little guy over your shoulder. Then on the back here, it's kind of a hardened back as well, as well as a hardened spine. So it's kind of a little piece of plastic that they've sewn in there with a ton of molly that you can feed all sorts of clips through. These are some VanQuest clips. These do not come obviously with the pack, but you can attach this to molly vests or molly backpacks, whatever you would wanna uh, do your molly compatible gear. This kit will be able to attach to that if you so desire. Then you got a two feeder zipper system, very strong, smooth zippers there opens up into this clam shape design. And as you can see here, I have a Mora heavy duty companion. It will fit in there, it is very tight, but you can get a Mora heavy duty companion to fit inside this kit. More realistically, so that you can get other items in there, it'd be better probably to do something like an SE Azula or Azula 2. That would fit probably a little bit better and just give you obviously some more space to fit some more stuff in there, unless you're really dedicated to your heavy duty companion. Got some paracord in here, We've got my water filter, and this has a nice little nylon strap, just kind of keep everything from flopping all over the place. And then mesh little just sleeve pocket there. Then along the spine, they give you this little bungee kind of seat as well as another bungee strap right there. You could do a flashlight. You do a lot of different little items in there. I just happen to have a pocket saw from tops in there. Then again, on this side, another just kind of mesh sleeve that has my little fire starter kit as well as a little fishing kit in there. So I got my lighter, I got my, some matches, I got some fuel and then a fishing kit. And then I also have a simple small little medical kit in a watertight Ziploc lock sack. So those are just some simple items, guys. Uh, again, not a lot really to talk about here with this product, but a very well-designed product and you can use it for all sorts of different things. Regardless, if you are wanting to make just a really small, convenient, you know, survival kit that maybe you throw in your glove box, you could put it obviously in your packs, your bug out bag, whatever, or if you want to use it maybe for a medical kit, you want to use it for maybe, uh, you know, just so many different options and so many different features that you can use this Zulu nylon survival pouch 
kit for. You can just do a lot with it. And at $25 for a US made product, I think it's a great little option to organize your survival gear. Well, everybody, I hope that this uh, quick review on this Zulu survival pouch has really helped you guys out with the purchasing decisions. I love it, use it in a lot of my different kits and uh, would highly recommend it to anybody if this is kind of the size and dimensions and features that you're looking for, this pouch is gonna last you a long time and really serve you well. So I really hope that this overall review has helped you out with your purchasing decisions. Always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.